Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel So, um, we already knew that we can store or save the form submission from a big a bricks form into the custom post type and now I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I want I wanna share with you um, basic idea just simple idea that we can create a simple very very simple um, booking form and with a date so the form has a that field and then um, if the user um, send the form and we publish the uh, post <coughs> this particular date will unavailable to other user so that means it cannot be selected because it has been stored on one of the custom uh, one of the posts in the custom post type so uh, there is option on the flat figure if you see we can disable the date so that means if um, like one user has a submit a form with this date so other user cannot select it the date so i think it's useful for for a simple booking form um, where you only have one properties like one you you, you have a ran website a website to rent a house or maybe properties other properties room or maybe like uh, good uh, and you know you don't have to like integrate it with payment just a simple booking form then maybe this method which i will teach you or i will share with you um, can help you in some way okay uh, actually i have created the step by step <coughs> on my blog you can just go to the mangwepe.com so let's start i will uh, re re replicate or yeah just replicate the, the step on this form uh, on this blog first um create a cpt called booking and create custom field name it booking date okay i'm gonna use SEF advanced custom field since the, the latest version uh, has a function to create a post type okay let's make it Jurassic first okay create new and let's name it booking booking and yeah it's automatically fill it's booking uh, you can uh, in any way you can change it um, uh, whatever you like but I'm gonna follow this step okay let's save change and now I have a custom post type called booking and next is create a booking date booking date yeah booking date let's let's create a field groups for a a custom post type so let's uh, name it booking uh, field and I need some field uh, to fill by the user the first is a full name full name okay the second is email Okay. Oops. And the third is mm, point number. Point number. And of course the date itself. I'm 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 using text field because I'm not sure um, if I use that field on the SCF the value when we when we save the submission into cpt the value is is it's it's somehow buggy it it's sometimes it's work sometimes the value is not safe so i'm gonna use text instead so uh let's see book date slug is book date okay custom field book date I think it should be automatically. Oh yeah, book date and the message 
text the message uh, on the form I'm gonna store it on for, for uh, to the post editor or post content full name email phone number book date uh, yeah I think this is enough and then we're gonna uh, select the post type is equal to booking and save it all right and let's see okay I have the title content a full name email phone number and book date okay that's enough and then the second step is create a form with a date figure field okay so let's create a form I'm gonna create uh, just a page so friend our house so let's publish it and let's edit with bricks <coughs> by the way thank you for um for uh the comment for all the comment some people send me email and send me through the Facebook I really appreci appreciate that I really appreciate your support and okay let's let's um, continue create a form okay so let's just okay, okay I'm gonna create some heading so rent a room oh not right why red? rent h1 okay um let's create a form all right i'm gonna make the background um, okay we cannot see the apa namanya the the placeholder yeah so placeholder typography okay the first is your name, change it, I'm gonna change it to full name, uh, placeholder, full name, um, uh, full name aja lah. The second is, um, what is my custom field? I forget. Oops, oops. Where is what is my field? <laughs> email, okay. The second is email, you right? Your email. And the third is phone number, okay. Phone uh, number. Oh. Placeholder. Uh, let's type it. Phone number and then. Um, book date, okay. Book date. Book date. Um, if you saw my video, I'm not. I'm not using the the date picker here because um, I don't know how to to enable the the apa namanya. Oh, yeah, yeah. I I don't know how to enable the option, the custom option here, like disable uh, disable option to this field since um, the, the bricks itself doesn't provide yeah it doesn't provide the apa namanya, the option the full option of the flat picker so what I need to do is I'm gonna change it to the text and then let's name it at uh, use label um, date Book, booking date And let's add a text area for a message so user can write their own message. Text area message. Okay, require booking date, yep, phone number, require email, yeah, full name, require. Okay. Okay, let's save it and see on the front end.
Oh, take so much slow. Full name, your email, phone number. Ah, oh, why there? Why there are two phone number? Oh yeah, here, the placeholder. Uh, yep. I think I need to like limit the width so we can see it better. Max width like 400 pixel. Yeah. Mm. And okay, here the, the booking date should be um apa namanya the the calendar the date calendar picker uh, you see here should be attached should be in initialized and attached to this particular field so uh, using this functions so you can copy this and I will explain it a little bit uh, while I paste it to my snippet you can use your function file on child team or you can use plugin I'm using plugin uh, WP code here it's free okay mm, booking system script okay booking system snippet okay first let's copy and change the code type to php and here um this this um on the third line and on fourth line it will uh, enqueue you the script and style for a flat picker the javascript uh, for a apa namanya, for a calendar date a calendar picker and then um yeah, this is uh, normal you can browse it or you can apa, learn on the google by yourself and this change this into your actual form date field name okay let's go to our form and open up your console and um, let's see the booking date and we need to use this name this value of the property name add attribute name input id input name here we need to copy this and paste it to here okay and then yeah the first step is done i think i think we can disable the uh, we don't have to load the jquery I, I think let's activate and save okay not no error no error i mean i think it should be working should be work uh, see the date now is show up when we click the field booking date okay and let's go to next step and create function to save form submission into custom post type yeah let's copy this and let's customize it later um, ooh, this is ugly I don't I don't I don't like it actually using the apa namanya the snippet plugin in since um it's better to use like with some visual code or something text editor on your uh, pc because it uh, you can see clearly see better the code uh, but okay anyway i'm gonna continue this so um if you wanna uh, learn more about the function you can actually you can uh, watch my other videos about us save the the form value the form submission into custom post type so um, you can learn more there so if the form id is here so i'm gonna change this form id into my actual form id so let's see which one is this okay form id data script id here data element id or data script id you can copy one of them okay I think I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay, this is the name, variable name, full name, uh, which will get the fields from this field. Okay, um, let's let's change this, change this um, field into ac my actual field. 
this is the full name field and let's go to input and see that is a form field yeah you can just copy that and oops paste it here okay the first is full name the second is email so let's delete this first email fields uh, let's go to email and see the field input ID name copy this don't copy ID yeah. don't copy input ID uh, just copy the name because uh, I believe on the old version the form ID uh, the input ID is uh, somehow might be changed so it's not have a static value and this, the third field is phone number so I'm gonna just copy this and paste it this you make a new variable mm, phone number I'm, I'm gonna just use phone um, okay let's copy the name Okay, the, the fourth is the date. Okay, date, oops, date field, <coughs> input ID here. So just copy this, and the last thing is the message. I think I already have the message here. Yeah. The message variable already created so i only need to change this value let's go to the message text area id name form field here so let's go paste it okay and let's move to the bottom new post array new post id blank yeah new post post type booking yeah don't forget to change this to your uh, actual uh, custom post type slug um, in my case which one is that here here you can see that my apa namanya my my slug for custom post type booking is yeah it's same booking okay and change the post status to, status to draft because um <coughs> we need to apa namanya to sort the order i think the the, the owner of the website uh, should um, um, publish the or the, the post by themselves. So after the the the, the order is came, th there is a new post with with a drop status and the owner or the admin. Uh, if apa namanya if uh, the owner of house uh, in my case here or, or the room, uh, the owner of room say yeah we agree. Uh, make 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 the book is <coughs> is uh, apa namanya is uh, make the date I make the book is um, I, I'm not sure how how should I is the, if the booking is success and then uh, publish the the the, the post yeah, something like that and the book full name okay full name I need to change this name to my actual variable name okay I'll say post title mm, you don't have to I, I think uh, um, you don't have to uh, use the conditional here because the form it the, the, the field is required so there will not be a blank field the user will or should will or must fill the, the field before uh, they click the send button but yeah in case in case something you, you need well yeah, just just let it like this second is email so let's change the the email where's that date okay i'm gonna change the date to email oops new post meta input booking date uh, this is the custom field for email so let's go to my I forget uh, where is 
uh, what is the, the the custom field slug for uh, email uh, okay name email okay I need to copy that and change this to email okay and I need the third um, yeah the third option is set email the third is phone number okay this is the phone variable okay let's see okay change this phone 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 meta input email what is the custom field slug for the phone number here let's just copy that and just replace that okay and the date yeah i think the 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 fourth is dead yeah oh the next is dead okay so let's copy this and change the variable to email pawn yeah date yep date okay here date date yeah and the uh, custom field slug for book that is here book that yeah book that is the same change this to this email phone number book that and message will save as a post content so we don't have to create um, custom field no message was submitted uh, i think i will um, change so if the the because the text the, the message is not mandatory uh, you can see here the message is not required not mandatory so we need to um, create a conditional 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 option if the form field for this is blank then let's create a uh, text um, customer doesn't provide the message me me message 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 yes yeah i think this is good yeah, yep let's update and let's test let's test on the front end whether our form is submitted uh, into custom post type or no okay my name Ivan email um, book date for message hi I wanna test the form okay let's send it and let's see on the custom post type list booking or booking oh oh wait wait nothing show up here what's that mean let's see i think there is something wrong with my snippet mm, form id message post status draft wait wait post status draft web date draft or, or drafted publish future draft yeah it's draft schedule private trust publish um let's see post type is booking ya yeah. post status draft ya yeah. if form id uh, let's see i think there is something wrong with my my code let's see form field for a full name yeah it's same Add action. Um, let's see. Repeat. <coughs> Insert post. 
Wait, wait, wait. WP insert post. I think I my code somehow is broken. Let me see the original code. Form to CPT. Hmm. All right. Let's see. I think I did something wrong with my code. Oh, here. New post. New post. Full name. Okay. Okay, let's update it. I play around with the, the code before. Now it's not working. Or draft here. Here is a draft title. No. Nope. Okay, let's move the trust. Okay, let's say. Okay, let's test the form once again. Okay, booking date. Message. Let's send. All right. Ooh. Why post type is booking? Let's see. Booking draft. I think there's something wrong with this. Hmm. Let's change the draft to publish. I'm not sure why. Full name, booking date, message. It's tricky. Why? I think full name, booking, full name, new post, title, else. Email. Email. Phone. Book date. Wait. Book date, phone number, email, full name. Array. Post content. Hmm. My form save to CPT. Yeah. I'm not sure why it's not working. Custom. Oh yeah, I forget to. Mm. Sorry, sorry. I forget to uh, choose the option into custom. Sorry. <laughs> Let's save it. I think this should be work. This should be work. Five minutes for nothing. Okay, booking date, let's uh, say 10.31, message, hi, send it, okay, okay, it's now it's sent, let's see on the booking, oh yeah, now it's, now it's, now it's there, hi, booking field, full name, full name is blank, Oh yeah, I need to like the post title booking. Oh, yeah, I need to change up and add one field, one more field here to fill the full name um, custom field. Oops, 
full name full name oops full name full name and change this to mm, full name field which one is that okay here full name full name yeah full name email okay yep Oh yeah, I, I forget to to change the post status to to draft update and okay trust okay let's uh, send again a form full name booking date um, like 20 and let's send oh now the draft the new post has been set to draft okay 20 where is 20 if one okay booklet is 20 okay that's cool now it's working and then let's move to our third step use we're gonna use json decal to get the result from the query booking so um let's say this is this one post um has a value of the date now here the this date will we will use this date as a value disable value for the date here so like uh, so uh, if i clear it now if i, if I refresh you can see that the 20 uh, may is available but because we have already have book the room has already been booked on this on that <coughs> that day so we should disable that so the first is uh, let's say the owner the admin uh, approve that okay and this 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 guy this ivan guraha uh, will uh, book the room and let's save the status to publish and let's use and let's go to our um, function let's just copy that and let's go to our snippet and pass it below I think yeah either below or top let's try it and you then have you don't have to change anything um, so uh, the, the basic idea is uh, this function will query the, the list uh, the post from a post type and then yeah, if you have already queried the post then we can retrieve the custom field here uh, you don't have to change anything and let's next let's go to the third step um so here so after we have uh, we create a new new function to to get the data of the the post um we will use reuse the function this function the, the result of function we're gonna use to apply into the first script here so uh, you can copy this all but i will show you just um, one by one so the first is just copy here the rest is same different is we have this uh, the one line of code it's to get um, to create a json to decode a json create json or decode uh, i'm not sure um this is the post type slug and this is our custom field so it will query the post and then show the uh, the value of the booking date custom field so I just copy that line into our function the first function okay so I'm gonna mm, pass it here okay and then um, document okay name yeah here there is new option here 
you can see the disable and it will retrieve the data from the, this variable and the variable will retrieve the data from the function we created here um, we created here uh, uh, specifically for a booking and booking date so you need to like copy the option disable option and then put it on the flat picker uh, javascript code here and echo disable that json disable that json yeah it, it's same and you have like this is the custom post type the booking booking date is custom field i think i the apa the the, f the custom field for the date is not a booking date you see here book oh, it's book date so i need to change it okay and let's update mm, no error yeah nice no error so let's reload and booking that here now the 20 may is not available because it's already uh, stored in the post of the booking custom post type here is booking from this post so let's add uh, let's test again create form uh, create a send form <coughs> your name okay booking date so let's uh, book for a uh, 25 may message hi i wanna book this room okay send Okay, let's see on the booking okay there is booking draft uh, if it draft the date will still available see 20 may still available but if we change it to publish 25 may yeah change it to publish um, let's reload yeah, the booking date now is not available and yeah this is uh, uh, I apologize for my apa, my explain my my way explaining since it's it's really uh, I'm, I'm not really good with English and don't really good with PHP thing I just what I, what I did is just copy paste and test it and if it's work and yeah I'm gonna use it and share with you so um, this code is working wanna test once again okay sure let's test it with full name daddy iskander sikander your name is name phone number is uh, booking date is hmm let's change to june um 10 june okay message hi let's send it okay let's refresh 10 June will still available okay and let's go to the book listing the booking list booking the discounter let's edit or you can just use quick edit status to publish update okay let's reload it and the 10 June should be um, available uh, unavailable it should not be available 10 June uh, here here it's not available right now okay it's working and this is actually a simple code but the video took like 40 minutes I can believe that uh, anyway um, as usual thank you for watching and if you have any question or suggestion or critic please write on the comment box down below or send me email or just add me friend as a Facebook uh, on the Facebook so thank you for watching once again uh, happy coding see you on the next video